Social Media Planning 101 for B2B Technology Startups. In a digitally transformed world, your ideal prospects are likely to meet your company on social media long before they meet one-on-one -on -one with someone from your sales team. For many companies, this massive change in behavior presents a lot of challenges. But for companies that are at the top of their game on social media planning, you'll be able to attract the right people in the right places at the right time and most importantly, in the right context. But where do you start? We're going to get into the details on what you should do with your social planning and your social strategy. But before we do that, can I ask you to please take a moment and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you can be notified when new content just like this becomes available. So where do we start? We need to understand just how pervasive social media is. Tech Target defines social media as a collective term for websites and applications that focus on communication, community-based inputs, interaction, content sharing, and collaboration. And the latest research from the Pew Foundation showed how Americans are using social media. 81% have at least used once YouTube, 69% for Facebook, 40% have used Instagram, 30% have used either LinkedIn or Pinterest, 25% have used Snapchat, 21% have used TikTok, Twitter or WhatsApp, and 13% have used Nextdoor. So given this context and how widespread social media is, at least among Americans, social media planning needs to be on the front burner for most B2B technology startups. So let's talk about the difference between social media strategy and social media planning. A social media strategy should be based on customer insight research, buyer personas, buyer's journey mapping, and jobs to be done, jobs theory. A social media plan, on the other hand, is a lot more tactical, and it's based on what's learned from that customer insight research, especially the buyer personas, and details things like what your buyer persona looks like, your buyer's journey stages, awareness, consideration, and decision, what topics, keywords, or hashtags are going to be covered by this particular social media plan for this particular asset, what format they're going to be in, whether it's video, audio, image, or text, what the length of the asset is for this social media planned asset, whether it's long form, short form, or micro content, what channel it's for, the specs, as well as any internal or external subject matter experts that you're going to be tapping into to create this content asset for social media. How should you go about developing your social media strategy and plans? Again, social media strategy input is going to come from your customer insight research. Social media planning input comes from your marketing strategist, either an internal person who wears the hat of a marketing strategist, if you don't have the luxury of having a dedicated marketing strategist, or an external freelancer, an external agency who provides that marketing strategist on an ad hoc or per diem or per project basis. And you'll pair those two, you'll pair the strategist together with your internal subject matter expert or internal subject matter experts that are going to be chiming in and providing input for this particular content asset supporting your social media planning. The strategy and plan should focus on setting and achieving SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Your planning should be building your brand by primarily promoting your thought leadership content offers, as well as other high-value content and offers that would be of interest to your most important buyer personas. The social media platforms that are prioritized by B2B tech startups vary. You know, the smaller the team, and the smaller your resource and investment level, the more you need to be hyper-focused about your process here. For example, which of your buyer personas is your true primary buyer persona? Typically, your primary buyer persona has the most economic value. It's the most strategically important to the growth of your business. And from a customer insight research perspective, especially the buyer persona research, what is the dominant social media platform for your primary buyer persona? Then within the platform, which dimensions, which part of the platform matter most in terms of hashtags, group memberships, and other defining parameters? Most tech startups will find their buyer personas on LinkedIn and on YouTube, 
But where on these platforms should you focus your efforts? There's over a billion people on YouTube and we're approaching a billion members on LinkedIn. If you were to add one or two additional social media platforms to your mix, which ones would they be? Let your buyer persona research give you a data-backed answer to where you should prioritize your efforts when it comes to social media. When sending visitors from a social media post to a website URL, you should know what you are trying to accomplish, what your goal is, and how you're going to measure success. Now, a few cautionary notes when it comes to social media strategy versus planning for B2B tech startups. A lot of social media branding is becoming much harder to measure. Right now, we're living through an era where much of the venture capital flowing into startups is chasing easy to measure vanity metrics that don't necessarily move the needle on actual demand generation that contributes to, that leads to direct line of sight to revenue growth. The retirement of third-party cookie tracking, you know, Apple is already there and Google is right behind them, is going to force this issue and bring about way more prioritization of brand building starting on social media. To be effective on social, your company culture really needs to support a desire for your company to be seen as the go-to subject matter experts and thought leaders in your space. Without this, much of your social media planning and strategy will be driven by egos, internal politics, and braggadocio, braggathons. Often the highest paid person in the organization, the hippo, will win these battles without necessarily having the data to support the direction that you're going in. How does your company plan social media if you're part of a B2B focused tech startup? Let me know in the comments section down there below. And if you need some help with your social media strategy and social media planning for your B2B tech startup, I may be able to help. Feel free to look me up on LinkedIn, send me a quick note in the connection request about what kind of help you're looking for, and we may be able to work together. I am Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and I look forward to hearing your great success story on how you're using social media as a strategic part of your growth engine for scaling your B2B tech startup. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and we are so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value from its content, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. Hope you're having a great day, and we wish you great success.